It's July 4th, which means I'm saying Happy Independence Day to all of our American friends. My name's Jess McDonald, and you're tuned into GameSpot News, where we bring you all the video game happenings daily. Gamescom is all set to get its very own Microsoft press conference this year, as reported by CVG. Devs have been notified of the one-hour event, and it's being speculated that Microsoft will take the opportunity to reiterate its intentions for the Xbox One after the 180 drama, where they backpedaled on a bunch of their more unpopular features. It looks like Don Matrick might have made a good call moving to Zynga, as he's all set to earn a $1 million salary. This is on top of a $5 million signing bonus and a $2 million 2013 bonus. This is only set to increase for the ex-Microsoft executive, so it turns out being the face of everybody's Xbox hate over the last few months hasn't panned out so badly after all. Yeah. A bunch of Final Fantasy news came out of the woodwork today, but not all of it came with a fanfare. Twitter and Reddit were blowing up last night as people started to notice that Final Fantasy VII had all of a sudden appeared on Steam to much delight. The highly well-received RPG is on sale right now for $11.99, so if you're in a nostalgic mood, this could be a great way to spend your weekend. On top of that, Final Fantasy X slash HD Remaster is getting an extra 30-minute cutscene. The add-on, written by Kazushige Najima, will occur in the end credits and will feature newly recorded voices. Nintendo have edged their way around an awkward situation today as they did the one thing publishers never enjoy, try to make an unpopular topic slightly less unpopular. Said topic today was why region locking is not so bad. Nintendo president Satoru Iwata attempted to convince gamers that due to their product being worldwide, it requires region restrictions to be in line with changing legal and cultural restrictions. Which would be all well and good if Sony hadn't just absorbed all of the fan love as a result of announcing their region-free console, and after which Microsoft whipped up a quick policy switch and jumped on the no-restriction bandwagon. If you've missed it up till now, today is your very last day to weep on your bedroom floor as you try to split hairs and decide whether Watch Dogs or The Division was superior at E3 this year. Or maybe that was just me. You can send your show feedback directly to me at Jess McDonnell or by using our GS News hashtag. Also, let me know what you think of Nintendo's comments on region locking. Head to our GameSpot News Hub or subscribe to us on YouTube for more. Don't forget to catch us same time tomorrow for our top five stories of the whole week. I'm Jess McDonnell and thanks for tuning in.